Welcome to Project Wimshurst 3000, a motorized Wimshurst machine, so I don't need that crank anymore. Runs very well on 15 volts. Output around 50,000. The motor is an old Vorwerk motor. Produced around the 50s. Another lovely present from my school. And it gives the Wimsworth machine a lot of power. Motorizing the Wimsus machine was another idea that came into me when I saw it just sitting on my desk doing nothing. Um, well, first of all what I did was uh, machine a pulley for it. Which is this thing on the side. This pulley allows me to connect the electric motor and the Wimsus machine. And it's about the ratio that I want because uh, these Wimsurst machines seem to have a uh, running speed where they operate the best and uh, when you get faster than that it doesn't do anything so uh, basically I run this thing on 15 volts now and um, that seems to work right perfect for nice big sparks. Another thing I did was convert it from the uh, vertical ways that the um, two conductor boards were to the now horizontal way. Um, it just mimics the way of the older uh, Wimsurst machines which I personally think uh, looks a little bit nicer. So I machined these adapters which just uh, make these things tilt in a 90 degree angle and uh, now this is the way you adjust the spark gap. And uh, this is the driving circuit. Um, the electric motor is usually rated at uh, 220 volts and around 10,000 RPM. What should I need it for? So I just run it on these 15 volts direct current. Uh, this is an old transformer that I got. And uh, this is a rectifier which I uh, managed to scavenge out of a, uh, a record player which was no longer working. And that's really all there is to it. That's my Wimsers 3000. It takes a little bit of time to get the huge mass and the momentum going so that it's up to operating speed.